Et moi, tu m'as pas embrassé ce matin. Initially in the pilot, the character of Kramer was called Kessler. I was living in New York at the time and I He was always uh, coming into my apartment and just always took well the time with the two things I didn't want to do and he was a little overbearing in terms of very well the whole apartment. And we started hanging out and we became very good friends. And we best friends. You know, it's unlikely for us two guys to be such good friends because we're very different kinds of people. I mean, I was very funny with him, very good friends, very nice. So this is just the same thing. Also, for the show, you could live next door to this Kramer fellow. Yeah, as he came in as an actual real life wacky neighbor. Jerry, I think, at first thought, oh, well, that's too cliche to wacky neighbor, you know, but I knew this guy very well, and I thought I could, I could write, I could write this character. One day, Larry comes in and says to me, Kramer, the Seinfeld asked me to write this pilot with him, and uh, I, I think I'm going to do it, but you know what? I'd like to base the character on you and call him Kramer. Is that okay? And I said, certainly it's okay as long as I get to play Kramer. And he says, you can't be Kramer. And I said, but I am Kramer. And one of the characters will be based on you. No, I don't think so. <laughs> what do you mean you don't think so? I don't like it. I don't understand what the big deal is. You can do it on Whatever you want. I get to play Kramer. You can't play Kramer. I am Kramer. But you can't act. I still didn't want to call him Kramer because I knew my real neighbor Kramer. And I knew that by calling this character Kramer, it was going to open up a can of worms that I didn't really want to get involved in. Larry was positive and, it, and correctly predicted that if we involved Kenny Kramer in any way. I, I do not view abortion as a, um, as a choice in a right. I think it's always a trap. I, I do not view abortion as a, uh, um, as a choice in a right. I think it's always a trap. And I think that. Uh, but that name just had something that no other name had. Jerry liked the name Kramer so much, he got, he got so attached to this name. And also, don't forget, while we, uh, while we were working on it, uh, so she was my apartment, she was quite a story. She was working on the apartment. And was coming in. While we were working. confidence order of four. Um, it was somewhere in there, there was some, I can't remember exactly what it was, there was some, a moment in the script that, you know, with my fine classical actor training, I went to Larry and I said, Larry, first of all, this would never happen to anybody, but if it did, no human being would react like this. And Larry said, what do you mean? This happened to me and this is exactly what I did. And I went, oh, <laughs> okay. And it was kind of at that moment that, that I understood that he was writing his own experiences and his own reactions.
Free driving to go back, and it's been great. You're right. You're right. I'm my own uh, boss, I mean, and I'm in control of my own schedule with the the, the sign-up process were, is really easy, and it only takes a few minutes to complete. Out, I can ride my bike around town. It's great exercise. It's great for the environment, and I get to skip like, traffic. The uh, There's opportunities in over 4,000 yeah. cities, like, and the best part is I get to keep 100% of my tips. It's such a fun and easy way to make some fast cash. Sign up online today. Got on Facebook and then started off in college, or as college thing, uh, had been joined by everyone else. Like, whoa, we got out. What's going on with this Facebook? And of course, then them showing up drove off everybody else. But uh, yeah, for a while there, that very period, everyone was on Facebook. Yeah, I mean, and, and there was this new thing that they could use this new visual vocabulary to express their beliefs, their opinions, their jokes. And it was, what if I put a little guy there next to uh, my sentiment about the house? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was just so it was so perfect too. It was like one of the last 
um, profitable virality thing. This is, think about, think about the, the, the song. Think about the song Happy. That song is, is nasty. I think it's important to play good songs. That was one of the last times where that, a song could pop like that. Excuse me with a question. Why am I so bad at that? Yeah, I mean, speaking of that song, they, the minions are actually a verified artist on Spotify. Uh, and you can go on there and listen to different songs covered by the minions. Um, there's a whole bunch of like, Yeah, yeah, you can listen to I Swear, you know, and I Swear. That's their most popular it's brutal. And is Pierce close too? Yes, I think so. Because he's still doing the language, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's different. Let me see. Sorry. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, it's written, no, no, no. It's performed by the minions. It says performed by the minions. It must be right. How is it? How is Rhea allowing that? How do you set the residuals to the minions? You know, Peter needs better lawyers for sure. Peter's kind of wrong. He's getting all these drops. How do you fumble this bag? Here. So there's three, there's, there's three different videos on YouTube for Happy. Mm -hmm. um, one of them has 126 million views, the other one has 1 billion. The other one has 1.1 billion. What? So the one yes. that's 100 and something million is the, the lowest yeah, sure. number? That's the it's lowest, the lowest number. number. But it's fine. Yeah. That's over 2 billion. That's okay. There's another one that has, there's another one that has 99, another, another 99 million. It's like, it's, it's one of the biggest things ever. Wow. I mean, I do. Is there a million version of Happy is the question. So oh, yeah. Singing happy. This one says featuring no minions. Yeah, that, yeah, no, of course there is. It's in the, it's in the movie. Is it singing it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, I'll have to look, I'll have to look for it, but, uh... That makes sense. Yeah, uh, so, I, I mean, I, I do not, like, that, I only, uh, we just did an episode on Facebook, right? And, like, I, I have been sort of off Facebook recently, I, for the last, like, few years. It's just, it's, it's bad time, energy-wise, for me. Uh, I go on there and I get sad. Uh, so I, the only things I really post are things that I post through Instagram. I have that thing on, so it's, like, automatically post there. And I do that mostly so that, like, my older sisters can see what I'm up to. And, like, my aunt and uncle are on there constantly want to know what I'm up to, but uh, aren't on, on Instagram. So uh, I'm not that aware of the many memes, but Matt did show me a few of them, and I know that, that he had a couple that he wanted to uh, Oh, I just have a fan of the tactical. The tactical. Oh, yeah. 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 The minions in yeah. the U.S. military. Star, if you want to play carrier, he's got the AR. So he's about to uh, take out the half of the military. Uh, uh, what, what, I, I'm just like looking up, I, I see them here, I see the tactical gun here. Uh, they have, oh yeah, yeah, uh, so do I. It's, oh, they're, yeah, that's, that's a weird thing to do. <laughs> you think it's weird to make a gun, to give a, a little, uh, little guy like that a fucking, uh, a little hit and a gun? Yeah. There's a, there's a minion here, it's a tactical minion that is dressed in a uh, um, which is very interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, there are no, um, yep. There are no mini minions. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the military. 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 It's
Like you said, oftentimes that means it's like just all in the gut. I don't know if they are aware of of the minion, what the minion is and does, or if they're hyper aware because you know, like we were talking about um, the the minion serves like the most like evil, the most like evil evil person, right? Yeah. And so, for instance, like the first one I ha I, I was looking at is uh, it's just a minion, it's a regular minion. Looks like it's drawn by the dream ones or, or uh, illumination. Yeah. Um, with with the with the AR and just in really great word art it says this deplorable is ready for the revolution. Oh my god. And this is posted to the Team Trump 2020 Facebook. Oh, so like Oh, well, everyone on January 26th was a minion. But how many of them were wearing the guitar? I bet it's more than one, that's for sure. How many of them had, like, There's for sure. We've seen, we've seen, like, uh, minion patches on, like, all the people. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It was like, it's, there's a real thing. But that's just it. Like, they have decided, like, the deplorable thing is perfect. Hillary called them deplorables. The media called them. Yeah. Well, Alright, mainstream culture has these values that I think are bad. They're going to call me bad, call me a villain, and I guess I have to be a I guess I'm not. I told them, hey mom, I spent eight years on this degree, but I hate it, and I really want to change jobs. I'm sorry, I know this sounds crazy. I ended up going with practicum. Practicum allowed me to keep my job and continue yeah, working. I, it's a reaction I picked the software engineering like, program because uh, they pay very exactly. well. It's a fast-paced uh, industry. Uh, it really doesn't matter your current career, what you did in the past, how old you are, or what you're doing now. If you want to change your career and get into tech, it's totally possible. Show them as a as a human. Yeah. Almost like an answer here. Yes. Um, and I think the, the like it started off with Wicked. I think they're you know the model that they've written in five and then yeah, you know, it's five and it's you know, it's you know, the story of, of the Wicked Witch in the Wizard of Oz. And, and have we done a Wicked episode? Uh uh, I would love to do a Wicked episode. Yes. Yeah, so, Yeah. You're never like, you're never not really. So, you know, I love it. So it's just cool. And 
So you're in your body, if you little line segment, and you live your whole life. Well, what's on the other side? Well, the other side of the right tail is your legacy. Just like you don't have a say over the things on the left tail that came before you, uh, as much as you have the time in your moment in life to make actions that will define the right tail. So you're in your body, you little line segment, and you live your whole life. Well, what's on the other side? Well, the other side of the, the right tail is your legacy. And just like you don't have a say over the things on the left tail that came before you, uh, as much as you have the time in your moment in life to make actions that will define the right tail, uh, it is folly to try and manage that because if you fix yourself in a point in history uh, using too many specific words, you're missing that the whole flock of individual points of views will always move to actually adapt to the shifting ground. Uh, the flock of birds, like even if they one part's to the left and one part's to the right at a rock face, they both part directions and come back together. That's how flocks work. <laughs> Uh, I had a bad day. My my wife got hit by a bus, and I lost my job as a bus driver. Which I mean, I know like my wife for a long time, but there's a One of the it's one of the funniest things we've ever done there, obviously. It's a Halloween. 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 It's a I 
Yeah. You sure? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. No, 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 Switch to Extreme and get fifty dollars back when you order a three hundred and sixty internet package starting as low as twenty nine ninety nine months for a year. Power up with fast speeds and supercharge every room with all home Wi Fi three hundred and sixty Pro. And at the end, when I told the boy, I started telling them the story about this guy who sells soup in New York down the street. I don't know. There's a there's a there's a connection to like. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
legendary turn table. It has, yeah, it is much like a turn table. It's like a turn table. It's, uh, yeah. it's immortal. It's an immortal Looking and looking, because I guess there's been well, a lot I mean, of turn tables at first they were coming, but here's the real like, deal. They, they are little guys, they like, like, are like, evil but huge. Like, that's a very meaningful situation. I think it's also about the time that they came out. And then kept them in 2010, when, like, their parents were getting on social media. It's the sort of, it's the first version that they really put in the counter and Jerry turned around and gave the whole force and like, and a bunch at a time. So and and like the rumors are not that like entrenched in meme culture, so they're, they, they find something that works and they're going to take it. Minions are right it. Like I moved into an apartment where they should only like, like two women first year on certain days. Like, and I made it one day, I made it in with my giant TV under the wire. Yeah, that's a good thinking, question. What happened, like, if I what happened yeah, what would have been me had I not posted it? Exactly. I've been stuck yeah. with that TV. Awesome. They should have. That would have been a very smart yeah. tactic. Yeah. I mean, I wondered that about the recent fab in the song, which was this year, where the, uh, there was, it's the gentleman minions. <laughs>
the hair is now good. I think it's a year or two of me since it was. I think Larry and Larry were pretty obsessed with their clothes, and so they were really happy to have the option. Is that an analysis? It sounds like dominant close ideas of the Iran Green. That is just a fact. You have a wrong observation. What do you mean? It shouldn't be an option. I'm not sure. 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 i am not
So 20 years after my friend had been heard, I heard him make a deal with the and it suddenly died. I don't know, I almost completely forgot that he had been heard. I wonder how long it took him to feel comfortable making a deal with him after he had heard it. Because I think he didn't make his money until like two days later he was doing it. For the Muffin Top episode, we had a scene with Kramer's giving us reality tour. And Kramer's reality tour was a character for me. Anyway, like six levels there. It was this incredible onion of reality and conviction that laid on, on, on top of itself. That was one of my favorite things from the show. I was really interested in that idea of taking something that was based on our show that became real and then making it part of our show again. My favorite character is called Tesla and Pilot with Larry Griffin. It's positive and it's correctly predicted that if we involve any camera in any way in this show, we will exploit it to the maximum and become a complete pain, which is what we did. The core idea was how could this possibly be entertaining to anyone that's sure that the real life Kramer is doing in New York. He came on the set. One picture with me, so yeah. And I took a picture with him. It was like about two weeks later, he called me up. The name was Craig. And he uh, wanted my permission uh, legally. Yeah. He wanted to exploit the picture, create something around the picture. I was really taken back by that. I was on my car. Particularly when he was playing around saying, I am. Hi, I'm Kenny Graham with the Warframe. You know the guy that character on Seinfeld was based on? A lot of people may not recognize you like this. Probably a little bit more. Like this. Which is when I decided I was going to shamelessly cash in on my illustrious name, I came up with this concept that what I need to do is create a brand. Something that you wouldn't mistake me for Cosmo. I figured his hair as long goes up, I have long hair goes down. So I got that friend. Of course, Larry David thought it was very amusing. Really nice I wouldn't give Kenny rights to that photo. Because I didn't know how he was going to use it. And the more I read about it, the free pizza bagel at the end and the stop, it just seemed like the word hour and a half anybody could ever spend. I was flattered. I mean, it was great. The first one was from the but I didn't realize, I found out later when I was doing Spike Chase, who wrote that episode, uh, that uh, they had called New York to the and I happened to answer it. And they had me on the phone, they realized that all the guys were looking for on the speaker phone, and they seemed to pick my brain for like, how long is it, how much is it for, where did it go, and, 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 and I think he had to send the brochure to somebody. Later on, I got it. I started thinking, okay, I can, it's okay, it's good that we got, we got someone to be working the show. I mean, it was really enhancing the show and just bringing more attention to the, uh, what we were creating. Ken was really a part of the Sorry, I'm 
Start taking these stupid warnings more seriously. <laughs>